What's up guys, it's your boy Dime and welcome back to Dime Up Cuz and bro, I'm really happy but before we get into that man, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. So um, I did check my analytics today for a few videos. I look back and I see I have 380 views <laughs> on a certain video about Nikola Jokic that I had a few weeks, uh, a week ago, that I put out a week ago. Um, I was very surprised by this because this is the most views I've gotten on this channel. Um, I also looked at what countries looked at it and <laughs> believe it or not, 45%, 45% of, um, 45% of my views had come from Serbia. That's crazy because Nikola Jokic is from Nikola Jokic is from Serbia. So Serbians really do love Nikola Jokic, man. So um guess what? Today's video is about Nikola Jokic. Um so I I guess all of you know who Nikola Jokic is, who he is and um how good of an NBA player he is, you know, coming from a round 2 pick 41. Uh, player, you know, somebody who wasn't really looked at as and then one of the next big stars in the NBA, you know, next big MVP candidate, all that stuff. Not really looked at like that, but um, now he has blossomed. I think it was in like that 2016, 2017 season when he started getting like, like getting known in the NBA. So, um, yeah, this season he's averaging 25, 11, and 10 of 57% shooting. 35% three, 85% from the free throw. Efficiency is at 61%, which is a career high. Um, his per is 31 and eight. We won't get into that. But Nurkic is, I mean, not Nurkic. I just saw his name. Nikola Jokic is a very good center. And in my opinion, the best center in the league. Um, you know, he's, he's like a, a freak of nature, you would say. Like, he could do basically anything he wants on the court. He can score, he can rebound the ball, he can pass the ball, he can play a little bit of defense here and there if he wants to, right? Um, he's doing things that players of his height and his position shouldn't be doing at all. They weren't, quote unquote, what, you, what, what would you say, uh, destined to be like that, you know what I'm saying? He's doing things that nobody's ever done before at his position, um, besides Wilt Chamberlain, we don't even know if that stuff is true or not. But we're seeing something like that with our own eyes, you know. Nikola Jokic is averaging a triple-double as a center in today's NBA. Now, let me give you a little history, a little background on why about this NBA. So, you know, back, back then, the 2010s, uh, early 2010s, uh, 2000s, and be, uh, back, three-pointers weren't even that uh, utilized. You know, teams never shot a lot of three-pointers. Um, you know, especially a center, you know, centers back then in the, in the early 2010s, uh, to, uh, the early 2000s, the late 2000s and beyond and back had a word like back to the basket, rebound the ball, play paint defense, dunk the ball, do your thing. Right. And, and that goes for any other position. Three point shooting wasn't a big, something big that they utilized, you know? I remember Charles Barkley was like a three-point shooting team is not going to win a championship. They did it three times, or right, three times. They did it three times. So, and you know Stephen Curry with his he 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 was like he's the greatest shooter in NBA history. He pioneered the deep range threes. He got people to shoot more threes, especially with that Houston Rockets team. They shot like. A lot of threes per a lot of threes per game, so he really influenced a lot of players. Trey Young, you know, pulling up from half court. He's into it with five, four, from the logo. Yes. You know, Damian Lillard pulling up from half court. He started this big movement of shooting threes, and as time went on, the big man or the center or the power forward was left in obscurity. Nobody was looking for the next uh, Shaquille O'Neal anymore. Nobody was looking for the next um, Greg Oden if he wasn't injured. Nobody was looking for that person, right? Nobody. Nobody was looking for the back-to-the-basket. Nobody was looking for that back-to-the-basket player like Brooke Lopez or anything like that. Nobody. 
They were all looking for what? Smaller players who have range, who can pass the ball, who could do things like that. And I feel like that's one reason why Nikola Jokic is what was, um, what you call it, dropped in like the, the rounds. He was like, he dropped to the second round in the 41st pick, you know, because I feel like he was like a post scorer back to the basket. And but now he's able he he's what you call it players who cannot shoot the three ball players who cannot shoot the three ball or shoot it consistently have gone into obscurity. Bruh. As I've said before, players like that have gone into obscurity. Um, they're not really talked about much. But Nikola Jokic here, he's averaging thirty five percent from three, which is a career high for him. So he's playing the best basketball that he's played, and he's shooting the ball consistently at league average, I think. that's I think that's league average. Tell me in the comments if it's not. But he's able to do this on a very efficient night. He's, his efficiency is 61. So he's shooting very efficiently. And he's the reason why the big man hasn't quote-unquote died. Because basically he's a step... I don't know if people going I don't know, but he's a Stephen Curry of big men. Now Stephen Curry is the guy who's gonna give you all the buckets, right? Like he's gonna pie he pioneered the deep range shots and all that. See, Nikola Jokic has pioneered for centers coming up, you know, like uh uh, uh Chet Holmgren, uh, um um James Wiseman sometimes can shoot threes, or Imani Bates can shoot threes sometimes, you know. They don't always have to be seven foot. They can just be a center. And if they can shoot threes, then they are going to prosper in this league. Because as time has gone on, the NBA has moved out, more out, more out to the three-point line. And people are saying they might get a four-point line, which I don't see happening. And I don't really like it, in my opinion. I don't like a four-point line. But Nikola Jokic is changing the NBA. He's changing the game for big men. He's changing the game for any player. You know, because back then... I'm telling you, back then, if you saw him shooting threes, like in the 80s, 70s, even in the 2000s, you were like, what is he doing? That's a bad shot for him. But nowadays, that's a good shot for almost anybody. The three-point shot is a good shot for almost anybody. Not unless you're um, somebody who doesn't utilize in that, like Rudy Gobert or Andre Drummond or anybody else who doesn't really shoot threes like that. So um, I'm really excited to see the rest of this histor uh, crazy season, historic season, I could say, for Nikola Jokic averaging a triple-double, doing his thing, man, pioneering for the center position, doing things that nobody has really ever seen before from that position. Um, so yeah, man, tell me your thoughts about Nikola Jokic, man, and um, I'm really excited to see him play. So see him play some more. Even though the Nuggets are mediocre, I want to see him play some more. So, without further ado, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy, Don. And let me ask you a question. How can you like the video and not like and subscribe? Peace out, 100.